how to start with coding and choosing project as a techie. Before we start off with this video, make sure to subscribe to the Scalers YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. So why would anyone want to learn programming? Let's try to decode every aspect of it in this video. Why would anyone want to learn programming? What's the real motivation that can keep him consistent throughout the process? Remember, learning programming can become overwhelming at some point. And if you don't have a clear path and a process, it will more likely that you will lose motivation and you'll finally end up giving in. So it's very important to understand and figure out your why. Needless to say, it's extremely fun when you start coding and learning how to program. And things become much more interesting when you actually start developing the project. We'll discuss more about how you can pick up good projects in the later stages of our video. There could be several reasons that anyone would want to learn programming. It really depends upon at which stage of your career you are currently in and what you actually want to do by learning programming. If you are a working professional, then you might would have less time per day to contribute to learning and you basically have to follow a different strategy. For example, if you are a product manager who wants to build some analytical tools and data pipelines, what programming language you have to start off will completely vary. On contrary, if you are a college graduate who have just started ahead with your career and want to learn programming, what kind of programs you'll end up solving will be completely different. Now, if you would ask me, what would be my personal motivation to start off with learning a new programming language? At this stage of my career, I would say that I want to uplift my skill. Now, I personally believe that even if you are not in a tech industry, you should learn how to program or code. The real reason behind it because it teaches you to think. Remember, learning how to solve problems and developing a critical thinking ability is such an important skill to have in this era. Another major reason to learn how to code is you are actually learning how to automate the repetitive task and makes things work more efficiently. Also to make the overall process a little bit more interesting, just think about what kind of topics really excites you. Are you the one who is fascinated about building games or do you like solving optimization problems like computing with minimal set of resources and time constraints? This is what comparative coding actually teaches you. There are literally hundreds of things to choose from. Choosing the correct programming language. Let's take the case of college graduates. Since you've just started off with your journey, you've got enough time to actually learn and understand the deep fundamentals about computer science. First, it could be about developing an understanding on data structures and algorithm, and that will act as a building block for you when you start solving problem. I would highly recommend for you guys to start off with low level language such as C and C++. I remember when I started my coding journey in my school days, the questions were mostly around how you're gonna build those star patterns or how you're gonna develop a calculator. Those were literally the stepping stone for me to get into the programming world. Later, when I moved to college, I developed a much more deeper level of understanding on different topics such as memory management, file handling, multi-threading, etc. I personally believe that C and C++ are the best language to start off with. For working professional, instead of using any low level language, I would highly recommend to start off with a high level language such as Python. Python is such an intuitive language. Because of its semantics, flexibility, and user friendliness, it becomes an ideal choice for a working professional. Python is also a go-to language for any data scientist or an ML engineer. So if you are thinking of building any project related to data science or any other such fields, this could really be a great starting step for you. Python community is also really very strong. So if you are building something that looks quite complex, you might already find a library that is already doing the trick for you and that can actually fast track your development process. So what's next? How to learn any language? Learn the basics thoroughly and get hands-on with coding by solving logical problems. You can start off by reading the official documentation or going through the tutorials which are provided by multiple websites. I would highly recommend you to start off by reading the documentation because that will give you the insights about the language. Irrespective of whatever language you choose, these are the topics which you have to cover. How should you choose a project? Now, once we have learned the syntax and semantics of any new programming language, it's time for you to put forward an effort in developing the project. But before actually doing so, it's really important to think what exactly you would want to build because that will greatly determine the amount of effort that you'll have to put in in order to demonstrate what you have learned. 
I know that learning programming can become scary, but the real question is how you can avoid the risk of losing motivation and thus avoiding that pitfall. Simple is awesome. Think of something which is very simple and fun to start off with. It could be as simple as building a rock, paper, scissor or a tic-tac-toe game. Building these simple games can actually make your process much more interesting. So once you are done with these mini starter projects, you can move ahead and start working on a bit of a complex projects. Think of something that can be really used and you can take inspiration from your surrounding. You don't have to choose any complex projects such as building an e-commerce website or a streaming OTT platform. These are large scale development projects which are beyond the scope of what you have currently learned. Always the idea is to make sure that whatever task you are picking it up is as simple and as fun to work with. You can build a web application such as a to-do app using Django as a framework. You might create a new task, update a task or mark them as complete. Starter project ideas. Let's see what all cool starter projects you can actually work upon. Make sure to keep the scope of your starter project minimal so that you don't fall off flat during the implementation phase. Cryptography. You can build something related to cryptography such as creating a random key generator and saving it like a passcode. Simulation. If you already know about the computer science fundamental concepts and have learned different algorithms, you can actually build simulation for it. Building Chrome plugins. If you already know the CSS, JavaScript and HTML fundamentals, you can actually build a Chrome plugin. Some of the ideas could be you can set up a price alert notification for any e-commerce website. Data visualizers. You can actually build some heuristic models and visualize data in the form of bar graphs or charts by analyzing any large data sets. There are multiple ways you can get access to these large data sets. For example, data search by Google or Kaggle. Building website templates. If you are more of a creative person who'd like to build some beautiful websites, you can actually start off by building website templates and you can reuse this across multiple portals. Also, if you guys have any unique ideas or starter project that you want to share with the community, just drop them in the comment section. Let's take a look at some of the advanced project ideas. You can build an app using Flutter framework that works across all the types of devices. If you are a blockchain enthusiast, you can build smart contracts using Solidity as one of the language. You can also work on multiple open source projects. My experience, operating system was one of my favorite subject and one of its topics were CPU scheduling algorithm. So in order to build a deeper level of understanding, I finally decided to build a simulation project around it that really helped me in understanding and visualizing how different tasks are being picked up by CPUs, what were the time when they were picked and what is the final turnaround time. I also started reading multiple research paper in the field of distributed cloud computing and that also becomes one of my final year project. If you are curious about the research paper that I chose, you can find the link in the description. Finally, I would like to conclude that don't build projects just for the sake of it. You don't need to add too many projects in your resumes. Do what you are really interested in. Remember, projects are just there to demonstrate your capabilities and how passionate you are in terms of building and learning. My final two cents would be, you can only remain consistent if you are enjoying the process of learning and have found out the right purpose. If you have really liked this video, do like, share and subscribe to the Scalers YouTube channel.